Well, again, welcome back to Antigua Barbuda today. And we're going to be talking about one of the biggest hits for the season so far for Antigua's carnival. And it is gaining momentum all over social media. That it comes in like a, it comes in like a, a poetry, like a slang. You just have to say it. You have to do it and do all the accents. And I'm not talking about none other than the diva Claudia, um, Fiona, Gemalifa, Peters. She's here with us this morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Iris. How are you? I'm fine, thank it you. It's so strange that I have to, you know... Prep and proper with me. Yeah. I, I'm glad that you have it to prep and proper. It feels very uncomfortable. I know a lot of folks out there like, are laughing and saying, <laughs> well, she told them going like, into this, that they, they, don't know each other, they don't know each other. Now, let's talk about this, the concept and the storyline behind Not You, Nah, Nah, Nah. We're here dropping the video today, mm -hmm. but I think some folks still need to understand what they will be seeing in the video. I mean, first off, you know, we, we got to, you know, pay homage to, you know, the folks who were very instrumental in the song. I mean, this song uh, is very dated. <laughs> Persons have been going through a lot, you know, depression, you know, bullying in the schools and wherever in the workplace. There's always, I mean, in every single aspect of our life, there is some, just some form of negative, some persons who are just very, you know, I, I don't know, just mean and just always want to create confusion. I mean, even the bosses, it, it goes straight to the top and persons would have to go through a lot. And so this song is pretty much, you know, giving person that sunlight, that ray of sunlight, that whenever you're going through, you don't have to retaliate. Just sing this one song, and it burn you. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, it makes you feel good inside. And um, since we've dropped the song four months ago, um, we've been getting a lot of reviews um, about the song. Uh, persons who are telling us that they have been going through depression, persons who have been just going through negative in the workplace, children at schools. I mean, the, the messages are still flowing. And we realized that, of course, this song is really targeting the persons that really need that rare sunshine. And so we're just happy about that. And when I say we, I mean myself, Claudette Peters, and Brockway Production, who has been doing a lot of work for the past few years. And this year, I've been working with them 100%. They're actually the producers for last year's um, song as well, winning song as well. And so, you know, these are some young people who are, you know, Eric, and Pop, you guys have been doing it, and we're just, you know, spreading blessings on you um, this morning. And so I have to go back into my phone. So for the song, I got to make sure I shed my blessings on um, Mr. Eric McGlure, a writer, producer, background vocals, Jashawn Hughes. Excuse me there, please. Yeah. You usually jump in the people thing. I have questions to ask you. You're jumping ahead of me. Don't do that. This is my show. No. Well, I, I, I was getting to that, but I want to ask, uh, let me ask you that part. Okay, I'm Remember, sorry. We, we, I'm the, doing the interview. We're not us. This is not off camera, okay? It's not us? It's, we're, it's not, we're doing interview. You have to be professional in front of people. I'm not being professional. All right. So, Claudette Peters, could you tell us what inspired you and the team to create a music video for this particular song? It, this song has been, you know, getting the reach that we're looking for. I mean, it's one point something K views um, on my page, on my YouTube channel, and um, it's not even out there yet. And so we've seen that a lot of Antigans have been, you know, really supporting, and this is basically what we need. Um, and so this video would then take the mantle and send it outside of Antigua Barbuda so other persons would get the opportunity of what Antigua has to offer as one of the artists who are really doing, who is really doing things in Antigua musically. Okay, so I think I want to show the video then we talk about the people who work behind the scenes. Okay. How, we movie takes six months a year, so how long it took with this video? It took like what? Three days? <laughs> okay, okay. Three how days. was that process, the work and everything? I mean, uh, Zia, Wilshire, and the team has been, you know, really, really, really positive on this one. Um, even putting together the treatment for the, the, the song, they came up with that treatment. It was awesome. We shared it, and we were able to work together. And, um, hey, 
Let's do the video. Okay, Let's well, see. you look straight in that camera and you introduce your video. <laughs> All right. Antigua Barbuda and those who are listening from the diasporas and the world, we release officially the new video of the song, Not You. Here we go. And thank you for joining us today in this unique group session. My name is Dr. Peters, and we are here to support each other on this journey for self-discovery. And we're going to be doing so by using the power of music. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the official release of the Not You Nana music video. It is going to be out in the next couple seconds because Mendo Brook, we're not wasting any time. Everything is ready for you to release. But it's so on key. It's on, there, 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 is, there, there it is. There it is. Now, I, I see you love a little piece of culture in everything you do, boy. Oh, boy, God. trust me. I'm in love. My, you know, I cannot tear your eye at the moment because, mm -hmm. I mean, the last video I did was in 2013, and mm. that wasn't a video video. That was actually a song produced and, 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 and as a gift for a couple. Okay. And that was Coffee Queen. And so, you know, the fact that I'm able to produce something dear to my heart that is just so inspirational to others is really touching to me as well it is, as it is to others. And so... I'm just so excited to know that I'm able to make that move because for years it has been so expensive to do so. 
um, person would think because you're on stage and you're seeing the final product um, that everything is glitz and glamour, but it's not. I mean, the work, hard work behind it, it just so teeth pulling that um <laughs> get it out of get it yeah. out of get it out of yeah. get it out of now we can talk about the people who are behind the music and the video now so let's go all right so for uh, the of course the song the production why are you smiling you like this i know not you na 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 <laughs> not you na na all right so got to make sure that i you know pay some respect to eric mcglaw uh, and Puff Garfield Wall, uh, Brockway Production, uh, background vocals, Jashan Hughes, live drums, of course, Garfield Wall, live guitar, Johnny Williams, Brooks, um, production, none other, Brockway Production, mixed and mastered by um, Smilus, Similus, mm -hmm. Smilus, whichever they pronounce it, production, Smil it's Smilus, Smilus. Smilus. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, music video by Zio Wilshire, assisted by Anderson. You know, Anderson mm -hmm. is just, you know, um, you know, the treatment was awesome because the song itself is self-explanatory, and we basically sat down uh, for like what an hour and a half, two hours, just thinking about the concept. There's just so much that we could have put in there, in the, into the video, but then folks can understand exactly. Um, you know what the video was all about the song was was be speaking of and um, persons can relate and So boom, you know our way of showing exactly, you know, what is going on. It is a little boy being bullied in school um, uh, A female and friends who are actually, you know pregnant and you know that one female was not able to, to get pregnant She got jealous. It was just a situation and eventually, boom, she got pregnant. Um, you know, a co-worker inside of the office was just excited about doing a project, and um, he, was, he, put his pla he placed his project down on the desk to go to the bathroom, and the co-worker changed it. <laughs> and then, boom, it was just so awful. E eventually, he merged victorious. It was myself, you know, showing those you know, elements of, of culture that, you know, I, I love so much. And, you know, we try to combine that with you know, what we love, and I hope Antigua Barbuda is proud about the effort and the persons who are involved are very, um, you know, Antigua and, and have been doing their mm -hmm. just do. I mean, look at the quality. The I mean, ZW Creative Media, you can check it out on, um, you know, all, all social media platforms. They do weddings and all of these things, just so professional. We must be proud of them. You need to utilize, you know, our own and, you know, and be proud and support as well. Yeah, I love the sound of that. Now, before we go, I, I need to ask a question because, you know, over the years, it's been Kitty's Fest, then we know what happened in your music, then COVID when you wanted to do something again. So when are we doing something? Well, I'm sorry, Steve, cut yourself off. When are you <laughs> doing something again? You know, the, 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 the little children always ask the question. All right, and so this year, the Soka Army team and I are going to be doing our uh, anti claudet Kiddies Fet, mm -hmm. and it's deemed because, and that we are making sure that we get through with uh, the Claudette Peters Cultural Fund. And so whatever little that we make um, for the rest, from the time we do anti Claudette Kiddies Fed onward, whatever I do, I'll be beckoning for donations. Um, little ones want to learn to play an instrument and learn how, for vocal training and, you know, to do a market room and their classes for that. And so we need to fund that to make sure that, you know, they get through with what they, 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 they dream of doing mm -hmm. culturally and so much more. And so I'm asking the general public to assist, um, to come out and support so that we're able to, you know, put a smile on our creatives or future creative spaces. Ah, kiddies, anti-colored kiddies first. Okay, so something is coming then. Something is coming. Something is the coming. The 16th of July. I'm going to see if I have anything to do on that day. It's a Sunday. You will be there, so you don't have to be professional anymore. Everybody knows. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying here. Okay. You're all doing right. a good job. No problem. <laughs> now, with the, the, the thing, Miss Culture, I'm gonna, we're going to be talking until they're ready for me because until they tell me how to talk. So, uh -huh. Miss Culture, what, what is it about you and your passion for culture? You could hear one little pad up, pad up, and you all involved in it. What is it, what, what, what is it about you and culture? Listen, I was born on the 9th of August. You see, way on Market Street, right? 
close to VC Bird's bus, uh, upstairs, it's Burger King. Mm -hmm. That's where I was born, upstairs. Upstairs, the mm -hmm. Burger King and the place upstairs? Yes. So not, I was, not hospital? I was, no. <laughs> okay. I was born <laughs> premature. And so um, it has been years that I've seen mm -hmm. Carnival. I've been exposed to it. My grandfather was very instrumental in Carnival years ago before passing his name is Greenwich Peters. He, I remember him building, uh, he was a carpenter. He built mm -hmm. a Liat plane. He put it on the parade one year and he was the captain. He even posed as Johnny Walker on the float with my father and auntie and uncles. <laughs> he taught um, um, young boys around Browns Avenue Otters how to um, stunt on bikes. So they had bikes on the parade, you know, with the ribbons and the wheel and all, they're doing all of that. And so I was exposed to that, um, to a lot of that as, as uh, uh, at a very young age. I wish I had pictures. I know folks would have pictures. Please, I keep looking please. for the pictures because I saw the pictures yes. somewhere around me. Mm -hmm. so and still I them. was very, very instrumental in pageantry coming up. Um, my uncle, he actually forced me to enter my first pageant that was LOCC, the Lower Otters Community Pageant. I'm an Otters girl. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't win, but I continued until Hal Jackson. I was Miss Teenage. I was um, first runner up Caribbean um, Queen, kind of Caribbean um, Junior Queen. It was just so much that I was exposed to at a young age. And, um, you know, I'm still doing it. I'm still very instrumental. I even work at the Ministry of Creative Industries. Uh, I mean, I just love Antigua. I just love our culture and all of the elements in it. It's just me. It's just a vibe. And mm -hmm. it's something that I will continue to stroll with on top of my flag, Antigua Barbuda. Yeah, definitely. And 2023, um, um, what, what is your journey? What's your goal? What's the aim for 2023? I know it's carnival, yes. Mm -hmm. But... Tell us more. I mean, to do more, to help. I've been doing, I've been, you know, very instrumental at the beginning of the year, uh, bringing um, 12 girls together, uh, not only a, a song, but um, a relationship where we're able to share information on the industry um, because uh, the formal information is lacking. And this is something that I'm going to go forward with while doing... Um, um, doing um, events that we're able to get that information um, through to our creatives because uh, that because that's lacking is the reason why we're not going out as we should mm -hmm. and um, yeah, somebody must start somewhere right. and I'm willing to do so and amongst everything else that I should but I'm learning as I go along as well. I know that's the good thing about it but um, we're kind of out of time today the video is out where can folks see I, I'm gonna say YouTube social media all over the place. The video is out now <laughs> ladies and gentlemen check out my channel YouTube channel Claudette Peters and of course of course, uh, it is, um, what is the promotion name again? Check out my YouTube channel. Of course, the information is going to be on my social media pages. Everything that you need to know, I'm always posting, and I try to make sure that I'm professional as possible. So people, continue to support. Thank you for the continuous support, and make sure that you love yourself before you love others, or else you're not going to be able to love others. Show the love, huh? And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, contestant number one. She just from done from the Queen Show. Has been at the start. She just done from the Queen Show. <laughs> yeah. I will keep showing my love. Oh, Julian, Julian promos. Who? Julian promos. Okay. That popular um, YouTube channel that everybody would go to to get mm. information. Um, yes. All right. Well, that, that 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 that's it for this hour. Ursil and Tania, they're on the road. We're gonna join them after this commercial break. So you enjoyed what's left of your Friday. My side of the show is over. We're gonna take it over to them after the break. We'll be back. <laughs>